Hey guys! So in today's DIY, I'm going to show you how I made those sandals that I featured in Saturday's Outfit of the Day. I hope you guys enjoyed that Outfit of the Day. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it down below for you. But I'm going to show you how I made those sandals that I wore. So you probably can't see it that well from this far away. But I took these sandals that I did in a haul a couple weeks ago and I spruced them up so that they look a little bit more dressy and a little bit you know, nicer. I think they came out amazing. I absolutely love how these things look. So I'm going to show you, without further ado, how I did this. For this DIY, you're going to need a paper plate. You're also going to need a really strong glue. For this one, I'm using E6000. And you're going to use a Q-tip. You can use a toothpick as well, a pair of tweezers, scissors, some little stick-on gems. And I'm going to be using these flip-flops with flowers on them, which is what I'm going to decorate today to make it my own. So I'm just moving everything out of the way and I'm going to clip all those extra tags off of those flip-flops because we don't want them getting in the way and we don't need them anymore. Then I'm just going to take that Q-tip and I'm going to cut it in half with those scissors and I'm going to open up my package of gems. Now as you can see here, there's all different colors, but I'm going to use red for mine because red is my favorite color but you can see definitely the different colors that you can choose from for your project. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna place those gems where I want them to go on those flip flops because you definitely wanna place them down and get a feel for it before you glue it down and make it a permanent fixture. So once I've done that, I'm just gonna take them back off and as you can see on the bottom of them, they do have a piece of tape that would stick them down and we're just going to peel that off because we don't need it for this we're going to use our own glue so you want to do that for both of your little gems then i used my tweezers to go ahead and open up the center of that flower better so that i could flatten it down with my fingers in order to make sure that gem will stick in there a lot better than it would if it was just sitting on top so i'm going to take my e6000 and i'm just going to open that up and squeeze some out onto that plate you want to be careful with your E6000 because it can get stuck if you don't use it for a while. So I'm just putting a nice glob on my plate of that. And then I'm going to use the cut Q-tip to place some glue right in the middle of that flower where I flattened it down. And then I'm going to take those gems and I'm just going to place them right where I put that glue. Now we're just going to repeat that process for the second flower where I'm going to put that glue in the middle and then put the gem on top. You wanna make sure if you have any strings of glue sticking off of that, that you wanna pull them because you definitely don't want them to be showing when you show off your awesome accessorized flip flops. So I'm just going to use my tweezers again to push those gems in the way I want them. And you repeat the process for your second pair of flip flops and you are finished and you now have awesome personalized flip flops that you've bedazzled yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed that DIY. Make sure to make your own and these sandals were super inexpensive. I got them at Walmart. I'll leave the haul down below for you guys as well if you want to see what else I got in that day. So they were super inexpensive. Absolutely love them. And it's always nice to spruce up your own wardrobe if it's not exactly what you wanted. So I hope you guys do this yourselves. Send me pictures. Let me know how yours turned out. You could also put little gems on the outside of the flowers instead of on the middle. Just, you know, play around with it a little bit. Send me pictures. Let me know, you know, how it turned out for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did and if you're going to spruce up your own wardrobe this summer with this idea. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I have more summer DIYs coming up and you definitely don't want to miss any of them. And of course, make sure to check out all of my social medias. They'll all be in the drop down box below as well. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.